morning. And welcome to Winnipeg. Now, before I forget, uh, I'm talking to my, our modeling friends in Russia right now. There's a pretty good chance you did not get to see yesterday's episode. And here is why. Apparently the music that I put with the sunrise, it was a piece, it was a Chopin piece, which I had got from YouTube's library many years ago, has now been copyrighted in Russia. And I got a, an email from YouTube and they said, you're, you know, that you had a copyright strike. So I investigated and found out that that particular piece is copyrighted by somebody in Russia and yesterday's episode apparently did not air there. <laughs> so, uh, oh, I, I gotta go. I, Missy the dog is out at my door and uh, I've gotta, I'll, I'll be back and we'll continue on. I gotta give her a treat. <laughs> Just let me push stop here. Okay, we're back. Now I've washed the dog slime off of my hands here, so my hands are wet. <laughs> uh, that's a sweet little dog. Okay, now what were we talking about? <laughs> okay, now, so I'm thinking to myself, what what do I do here? Do I do I pull the video, redo it? You know, take take the music out, redo it, and upload it? Well, by the time I'd seen the strike. Uh, several hundred people had already viewed the video and made made comments and so on and and if I pull the video that means comments and everything are gone I, I'm thinking well if if YouTube says that this does not affect your channel I'm thinking to myself well I can put up with the fact that only one country in the world uh, you know uh, it, it doesn't view be it a huge country unfortunately but I don't think there's that, that many viewers because I'm speaking in English and I know you can, there's, I think there's a way you can get, get it to translate into Russian. For instance, I can get my entire, my entire video when I'm editing it out uh, to put uh, subtitles along the bottom of different, uh, different languages. Anyway, yeah, so... Uh, that, that's that's why you didn't get to see yesterday's episode. So uh, when I dropped this down, now I did not come back to the model table last night. So uh, I haven't done anything yet. Uh, oh, somebody was asking me that, about this. They saw me scraping with with this blade, and they were they were wondering where, where did you get that blade, sort of thing. And uh, it's it's an old Exacto blade. It, it's if I look carefully with the. Uh, uh, magnification hood here I can see it says it's part of the uh, a Z their Z series so this morning I went on YouTube to see you know because it's getting a little bit rusty now I, I can sharpen it I can I can mount this in my wet in my wet my wet uh, stone and I, I can actually sharpen it if I want to uh, but it was it was part of a set uh, that I got years and years and years ago, and I can't even remember where I got it. I, th I think that this blade might have been part of this, the set. It was this one, and uh, just a moment. Okay, it, it, was, it was part of a set with, with different different types of, of blades uh, and uh, like little little gouges and stuff like that. It'd be great for somebody who's into into carving, wood carving. Um, anyway, that's what that was all about. It could be that one of these other blades might have worked better along that edge, 
But I've got another idea for that. I don't know if I'm going to actually do it. I was thinking of putting a uh, a cutter in my in my Dremel, and uh, uh, you know, trying that. Except I'm going to have I was going to say sawdust all over the place, but uh, what is plastic sawdust called? <laughs> uh, anyway, um, okay. So uh, let's uh, let's move on here. Oh, sunrise this morning was kind of nice, kind of nice. So once again, I'll uh, put it at the end of uh, uh, today's episode. Um, that seems to work out pretty good. Because some people could care less about the sunrise, they just want to see what did I do on the model. And uh, quite often, I don't do very much, so it must be frustrating. We are getting there. I do think that this model will actually see me rigging it. Uh, it uh, I'm kind of encouraged now. I, I know we've got to do a lot of railings yet. There's a, there's a lot of railing that has to be done yet. But I think we have got most of the uh the photo edge piece is on otherwise now there there is the uh the companion ways that go down the sides of the ship yet uh yeah they they got to be made and put on that's going to be a little bit finicky uh but I I should be able to figure it out okay so let's move on uh missy's got her uh, dog treat and uh I think I've explained why yesterday's episode didn't uh, show in Russia. Um, yeah. It's, uh, you know, I, I know I sort of feel like, well, it was just one country. Uh, I, I was going to say something to the effect of, uh, well, there's only one country that doesn't, uh, doesn't talk in metric. So why worry about it? Uh, but, uh, you know, it'd be nice if I could please everybody all the time, but that's impossible. <laughs> I guess that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> okay. Um, let's move on. Okay, now when I look in there, I can I can sort of see... Well, I, I can see the other side of right here. And it, it does appear to be, oh, about a, not even a millimeter... If, it could, if this whole thing could just go another millimeter forward, uh, you know, I, I just had a thought. I, I'm wondering if, what, what if, if you if you remember here, let me turn this off. I just had this thought now. Now, very carefully here, if I if I lift this up and remove it. And then and then hook the the front end. Okay. It might be what I'm trying to say is it might be easier to be able to just remove that little section in the back here because this does seem to go want to go down. Okay, let me let me remove this whole thing. Bear with me here. Okay. Don't anybody breathe over there. All right. And that, that kid outside with his basketball, I hope he keeps outside with it. Or I think it's a, you know, it's a, it's a she. <laughs> yeah, she's probably going to be a uh, in the women's basketball team in about 10 years. Okay, uh, yeah, people were suggesting that if you remove these things, and if, if you if you notice in the manual, the, the photo we have, it, it shows that these are, are have been removed. I, I left them in because somebody had suggested you leave them in because it gives you deck rigidity. But I, you know what, I don't see how that could... You know, if I remove these, I don't see how it's going to make the, the deck go more this way. And that's what I need. It's it, the, the problem is it's catching right here. Now, I, I don't think I dare try and turn our module on its side 
and uh, try and pair that off. I think I'm, I think I'm a lot safer off trying to remove this. Uh, it, it almost goes. It almost goes. Um, I, once it, once again, I'm going to put a, a different a different blade in. And well, I had thought of using the the, the Dremel tool, and uh, but as I mentioned, it's going to be a real messy, and there is a chance it could catch on something and suddenly gouge where I don't want it to gouge. But but that would go that would go really fast. I wonder if I was to sort of carefully try and mask. Lay, lay something of some some paper or something across here and uh to try and keep the well i guess it doesn't really matter if chips go down in there that's all going to be covered it doesn't matter what's in there yeah. yeah this would be a great haul for somebody that wants to make an rc model there's all kinds of room in there for for uh, motors and batteries and receiver and all that kind of stuff okay um Let's let's just move on here. Okay, this could turn out to be a huge, huge mistake. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, if it seems to be working, I'm going to keep going. And if it doesn't, uh, well, well, then I'll quit and try and think of something else. And I'm more worried about uh, ear protection than eye protection sometimes, I think. Well, let's get out the vacuum cleaner and be very, very careful. 
Uh, yeah, I'm looking around on the model table. It, it didn't seem to throw stuff too much all over the place. It's pretty messy right here, though. Now, it would be really nice if I could use this to just sort of gently brush over everything, but even these bristles are too stiff for some of this really delicate photo etch, like this railing and these little uh, 20 millimeter guns and so on. So the plan is, I'm going to use this, and I'm, I'm going to try and not let the, the suction grab and suddenly pull in on something. <laughs> At least that's the plan. So I just know that you want to see this, you know, some of these disappear <laughs> up the nozzle. <laughs> uh, I do have extras of these, but that's not the point. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, I think I think twice in the last five years I've had to go through my vacuum cleaner bag. <laughs> uh, let, let's not make it three times. Okay, I'll, I'll recompose here. Okay, I think I got 99% of it. Maybe what I should have done is taken the uh, hobby blade, number 11 hobby blade here, and just gone around the edges here. Because I guess I'm going to have to do it again after I get through. And then, then we'll give our uh, module a try and see if, if it's going to go this time. It, it might. It, it might. might make the difference. Yeah, maybe... Uh, uh, California Paul's idea with some Vaseline is, uh, trouble is I don't have any Vaseline. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, I put this wire on here a little while ago. I'm hoping it's not going to be in the way. I was trying to protect these things here. And, uh, I think we're going to be able to just, just barely drop it down here. Get, get the back end down. Now, is it going to go now? Yes. Yes. We got it. We got it. Okay. Uh, I, <laughs> I half thought it might not work. Uh, anyway, I started to say I, I, I did get out on my e-bike yesterday. And I want to do it again today. And uh, what is our time over here? 1142 uh, I'm not going to quit right now I'm, I'm going to uh, you, you know what I, I think now we turn the page oh no we have to glue this down <laughs> all right let's see where are we going to glue it I, I remember yesterday saying something about it I wanted to glue it where there was a bit of a gap between the between the main deck and the and this part here 
because where it's tight already, there's no use worrying about. Now, mind you, it, it's fitting really good. Just check on the other side here. How is it on the other side? Now, careful when you reach across. This is when I bend stuff. Okay. I think that's going to be all right. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm happy about this. Now, I was noticing yesterday afternoon that there was a lot of birds at the bird feeder. And uh, yeah, it was actually pretty crowded. Uh, I think about the most birds I'd ever seen at one time uh, on the feeder. And uh, it was rocking in the wind pretty good, and then I realized I'd forgot to put the brace back on that keeps it from rocking. Anyway, we're going to fix that. And uh, I also noticed that a lot of them were going after the black oil sunflower seeds, which, which was a surprise. And they just sudden, suddenly, all of a sudden, went down almost, you might say, in a couple of hours. Well, so it seemed. Anyway, we're going to fix that too. <laughs> and as long as we're uh, doing the uh, sunflower seeds, we may as well do the others as well. Okay, I know I've said this before, but it seems that all, all along here, it's good. It's just coming up a little bit, you might say, right at the very front, and a little bit at the back. You, you don't really notice it unless, unless you look. So I know that Paul was suggesting we use the extra thin, but I'm going to use the thick stuff uh, because I don't want it running out onto the deck. So I'm, I'm just going to carefully take this off here now. See, trying not to squash our baskets. Oh my, that's tight. Well, see if I can pull it pull it loose from the back. Uh oh. I gotta get something underneath the what can I put underneath there to just sort of carefully wedge it up. Um, maybe something like this. Well, that's going to mark the bottom. Maybe, maybe if I, I think I should be able to grab it down here on both sides. Let's try that. Oh my goodness. Do we need to even glue it down? Uh, this is a surprise. I was not expecting this. It's almost like it's already glued down, but but it's not. I don't. I I don't know. Well, let's let's try it here on this end. Um, if I could get something under the edge that it wasn't going to mark the deck. Uh, but I don't know what I could get, get under there. Okay, they're just going to. Holy moly! This, this is really a surprise. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to back you off a little bit here. And get you out of the way. Sorry about that. Nothing personal. Uh, <laughs> I know you want to help. Um, there we go. Okay, we got it now. I don't think we broke anything. Now, move you back in. Okay. Now, 
Now remember, this is the one that drips. So obviously, <laughs> we don't need to be putting too much on, do we? I should have, I should have a few minutes here to. So I'm relying on this to sort of run, run down. Put it along there. I don't think we're going to worry, need to worry about it, you know, coming, coming back up later. You know, like like years down the road. Well, years down the road, I'm not gonna have to worry about it, am I? Okay. And do the same here. Ooh, I got it out on the deck. Well, fortunately, this this is the side that's again going to be against the side of the case. I'm just gonna go along here. This will just help. I'm getting some some paint on the uh, applicator there. I don't know if I want to put that back in there or not. Where's the... I'll get that paint off of there. Okay, now, before this uh, dries on me, now let's not get too rambunctious here, Ron. Don't, not too rambunctious. Being careful where you're picking it up. Okay. Now, if it went down before, it should go down again, right? There it is. Push down here. I think we need to worry about anywhere else. It's it's down. It's, it's as down as it's going to get. Oh, maybe it wasn't. Let me just look on the other side there. Oh, it is now. Okay, the other side was probably. I felt my shirt rub against this this little uh, piece of photo edge here, but I didn't bend it. I was lucky. Okay, let's let's quit. Well, the quitting's good, and uh, we'll flip the page tomorrow. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And <laughs> all being well, we're gonna see you tomorrow.